Hi, this is Christina with the Rust Covered Cottage. Welcome to my page. Today we're going to make a cute little muffin tin from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna paint it with the bare chalk spray paint. I'm then going to take my Apple Barrel Burnt Umber in my Anita's terracotta paint and we're gonna make it look rusted. And this is what I'm doing right now, and then I'm gonna dry it. While that's continuing to dry, I'm gonna take my wooden rolling pin that I purchased from Hobby Lobby, and I'm gonna take my burnt umber with a baby wipe, and I'm going to stain that. They're gonna set that aside, and I have these planks that I got from the Dollar Tree a couple years ago, and I'm, I cut it down a little bit. I'm also staining that with the burnt umber. Now I'm gonna take this printable that I got from Etsy, and it's just like an old recipe. I wasn't concerned with what it said or what exactly it looked like because it's not gonna be very noticeable. I tore it and I'm going to Mod Podge it onto that plank. And then as that's, I'm pushing out the wrinkles, which wrinkles don't bother me, so it's okay if there are some. I'm drying the Mod Podge a little bit and then I am going to apply a second coat of Mod Podge over the top for protection. We're gonna dry that, and then I have another printable. It has just like a vintage looking cupcake label, and I'm going to tear that also. I'm using my water pen from the Dollar Tree right there. I'm gonna tear that, and I'm going to Mod Podge it onto that tag. It was a set of, um, I think, three or four wood tags that I had purchased at Hobby Lobby last year. And I'm mod, mod podging over top of that too for protection. I'm gonna dry that. And then I'm going to take my best home dark sealing wax and we're gonna dirty up around where I mod podged on the label. And then I'm also going to do like around the edges to give it an even more vintage look. And then I'm going to do the same thing you're going to see here in just a moment. I'm going to do the same thing with the recipe. Just dirtying up the edges to make it look older because you know we love to make things look old. So that's what I'm doing there. I'm dry that up a little bit and I'm going to take some coffee stained. It's not coffee grunged. It's just coffee stained cheesecloth that I had gotten in Happy Mail from my friend Lori Bumgart. I'm going to lay down the rolling pin on top and I'm going to take this Sweet Annie and I'm going to put that on top of the recipe once I glue that down with the hot glue. I use Gorilla Brand hot glue. I'm going to put down the Sweet Annie and then again the rolling pin. I'm going to glue that all into place. And then I am going to tie the cheesecloth around it in just a double knot. I had intended on not making a bow, but it just didn't feel like it was enough with just the cheesecloth. So I do go ahead and make a little, blow, a little bow. And I am using coffee stained muslin in my bow dabra. A lot of people ask where you can get the Bodabra. You can get it on Amazon, Walmart, Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. I'm using some homespun. It's a navy and tan check. Mixing it up with the, the coffee stained muslin. I'm going to tie off my bow. Then I'm going to give it a trim. Give it a little haircut, y'all. That's what we do with the bows. I'm just fixing it, I'm pulling, I'm tugging, I'm twisting, just getting it to lay right. And then I am going to attach that wooden tag. I'm gonna tie it around the cheesecloth there, just a double knot and trim off the ends. I'm trimming the cheesecloth and I'm going to hot glue my bow in the center there. You gotta hold it and make sure it's secure. And again, fluffing the bow. You have to fluff the bows. <laughs> I'm gluing a little button into the center. 
And then I look at it, I'm still thinking it needs a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a little bit of Excelsior. And I'm going to stick just a little bit in there. I do glue down that tag because it, it was flopping around. So I just put a dab of hot glue on there and glue it to the pan. So I'm going to take a little bit of Excelsior and I'm going to put it in between the bow there. Just a little more texture and it fluffs up the bow just a tad. And then this is going to be the last place that I put it. And I think I burned my finger in here too, unless I edited that out. <laughs> and there you go. There's the final product. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this. And if you do, give me a follow. Have a great evening, everyone. Bye.